होम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ असैम एंड एन द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ असैम ऑफिस called up your the leadership of your university and said that rahul gandhi must not be allowed to speak to the students of this university kurinda vilai nirinda taram tangal thevigal anithum ore edathil jay chandran now this is taking place not only in assam this is taking place in every single university college and school of india you are being told that you must blindly obey the rss and the leadership of this country important because you are the future of this country and and the most important thing for this country is that all of you are allowed to think freely to believe freely to imagine freely and to live the life that you want not live the life that somebody else wants now I want to come to your university and talk to you 
imbrécil, listen to you, understand what you are facing, and try and see in my own little way if I could have helped you. Now what happened? The Home Minister of India, the Home Minister of India, called up the Chief Minister of Assam, and in the Chief Minister of Assam's office, called up your, the leadership of your university, and said that Rahul Gandhi must not be allowed to speak to the students of this university. Right? Now, why, why is it important? It's not important that Rahul Gandhi comes or Rahul Gandhi doesn't come. That's not important. What is important is that you are allowed to do anybody you want to listen to. Now, this is taking place not only in Assam. This is taking place in every single university, college and school of India. You are being told that you must blindly obey the RSS and the leadership of this country. You are being told that you should not have your own imagination. You are being told that you cannot speak your own language. You are being told, you are being told that you cannot have your own history. That is what is going on here. So what is being done is you are being made blindly obedient. They are trying brothers and sisters to turn you into slaves. And I know, and I know that nobody, no force in this universe can ever turn you into slaves. It is not possible. So what I want to leave you with is this country belongs to you. This country has to follow your imagination. And nobody, nobody should be allowed to prevent you from imagining and thinking about the India that you want. Nobody should be able to stop you reading or writing in any language you want. Nobody should be able to stop you. Nobody should be able to stop you from listening, reading your tradition, your culture, your history. It's not about, it's not about Rahul Gandhi coming here. That's the least important thing happening here. It is about you having an imagination, you being allowed to do what you want. I really appreciate that you have come here. Because you have come here, you have come here because you do not agree with what the chief minister is trying to do. You are not ready. You are not ready to accept a slave, an enslaved Assam. And I am extremely proud of you for that. Thank you very much to the people. I thank you all students because you have done that. I love all of you. I love all of you. I love all of you. Thank you. குறைந்த விலை நிறைந்த தரம் தங்கள் தேவைகள் அனைத்தும் ஒரே இடத்தில் ஜெயச்சந்திரன் மின்னம்பலம் தமிழின் முதல் மொபைல் பத்திரிகை